I've jacked my mom's glass and my mom's cup. I mean, my mom's car, brum brum. Angie Kuzi, it's mukbang time. Less munch. <laughs> I've not got no food. So guys, these are very popular in Pakistan. Probably most likely I've tried this red berry one. It's very, very popular. My personal favorite is the gold one. It's just got like a very creamy, velvety uh, taste to it. It's not over overpowering like this one. As a kid, I used to love this. Uh, I used to knock bottles back. And this is the new flavor, the blue thunder. I don't know why, but Merinda in the Middle East and Pakistan tastes so much more better and authentic and it tastes real. It doesn't have that like zinky, iny taste to it like it does in England. That is, I forgot to pour them in the fridge, hence why I've jacked my mom's glass and my mom's cup. I mean, my mom's car, brum brum. Which one should we go for? This is my personal favorite. I want to leave that to last, but you know what? We'll do a bit of a ip dip do, cut go flu, out goes you. Wow. The latest flavor. Blue thunder. The craziest thing about Sting is, is that the caffeine and sugar content is really, really high. Wow. 1.6 grams of sugar per 200 mil grams. Guys, add it up. 200 mil has got 13.6 grams of sugar. So how much is it going to be for 500 mil? I'm guessing it'll be more than Coca-Cola, but just look at that. Let's pop it open. Okay, hint, and it reminds me like it's taking me back to my childhood of, do you remember them Mr. Freeze lollipops? The bubblegum one, the blue one. Yeah, exactly like that. A sharp bubblegum flavor. It is light, it's not as heavy as this one. As a kid, I used to gulp it back, but now it kind of gets stuck here. It's nice, but it's not my personal favorite. What would I rate that out of 10? 6 out of 10. Try the sting that's really popular within Pakistan and a lot of other countries as well. Within the UK, a lot of people went crazy over it when it came to the UK for the first time. Wow! Guys, this has got 30.4 grams worth of sugar in 200 ml. This is a 500 ml bottle. 70 grams worth of sugar. I don't even think Coca-Cola whole factory's got that much sugar in it. If man didn't have diabetes before, I'm definitely I'm gonna have to live with you. It has a very sweet uh, scent to it. It is a berry blast, not red berry, berry blast. So nostalgic. Takes me back to them Galia Wurlishti Atak Hazro when we used to drink this as kids. It's nice. I'd give this a If you're enjoying these kind of videos, please hit the uh, follow button, do comment, like and share as well because without your guys' support, none of this would be possible. But can we have a little drum roll? Then, oh, 30.4 grams worth of sugar in 200 ml. The mix of uh, Red Bull and Mountain Dew. You had a little bit of debris in there. Let's put this in there. Yep. I'm getting Red Bull and Mountain Dew vibes here. So nice, it's refreshing. And right now there's a party going on in my mouth and all you guys are invited. Sip after sip that we're doing there. <laughs> Smash it. That's my personal favorite. Coming in first place, Gold Rush. Similar to like Red Bull or Mountain Dew, even though I'm not a big Red Bull fan, but that licks off shot, the combination is bad. This one feels like it's gonna give you a cardiac arrest. It's old school, it's nostalgic, reminds me of my childhood. I'm in second place, solid 7.8. Got six. This is the latest flavor, reminds me of uh, Mr. Freeze, bubblegum flavor. It's okay for what it is, but it doesn't have that X factor.